Yo, what's up, Stormguard? Jukes here, bring you my new method of auto-clicking multis. The benefit to this is it'll allow you to auto-refresh, auto-enter, and auto-embark multis without you having to do so. So to do this, I set up six targets. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first target will be on embark, and I have that set to 1500 milliseconds. The second one is going to be on friend cancel, and I also have that on 1500 seconds, milliseconds, milliseconds. The third target will be on the refresh button. So it's gonna be right there on the update button. That's the purpose of this. The fourth button will select your multi quest that you wish to do over and over again. And right now I have it on the far east, the high difficulty EX quest. So it clicks this and it'll also be on the one I want. It's just there by default. Convenient. I have it set for 600 milliseconds. However, if you wish to do another um, quest like the EX1 instead of the EX2, you're going to have to set up another auto clicker and put it there. And keep in mind, the position is really important. So you want to have this button if you do wish to do EX1. You want to have that button like be right in between this button and this. So it needs to not click anything. And only this. Okay. Then next, now that's optional. And you want to have this set to 600 milliseconds. The next one, my fifth target, is going to click on the join room. 200 milliseconds is fine for this one. And then the fourth button will also click the room to enter. It's just going to click that. And in the event that the room is full, it just the rotation. You don't need a button up for OK. That's just an extra button unnecessary. It'll just click off of it. So the fourth button will click here again. Nothing there. They'll click off. Nothing there. And then eventually the update button will be clicked. And then I'll find another room that happens and so on until it actually enters the room. Cool. Uh, the six button. I don't know what the six button is there for. I put it there for a reason. I'll have to wait and like re-update this vid tutorial later. But there is a reason for the six button, I promise. And I only had that set to 100 MS. So just to show you how it works, you have to be in this room to use it. So you go in this room and then you click it and it works like that. It's going to select my quest. It joins room. It updates and it enters the room, but it's full. So it refreshes. Same issue. Eventually, it'll work, I promise. And there you go, I'm in a room. And unfortunately, some of the hosts are a little slow at clicking, but you wanna have a decent amount of time between your clicks. I don't think my time's too fast. This, this host is really slow. Yeah, this host is AFK. Oh, no, there he goes. And that's actually really important too. You don't want your timing to be too fast. So you, ideally, you want your um, MS all to add up to like a decent time. So I have a 1500, right? I have another 1500 over there. Okay. On the third target, I have 500.
On the fourth target, I have 600. On the fifth target, I have 200. And on the sixth target, I have 100. So right now, I'm using, I have a, the auto clicker set to 4,400 MS, which is not that fast, and it's not that slow. It's about where I like it. But if you do want to change it, some of my parties I like to be at 3,500 with my friends because it's just easier. And and like random multis, I like that to be a little higher to give the host some time to actually click embark because sometimes they're a little slow. So then in those situations, I would up this number. The only number I will change here is one. I'll either increase it or decrease it to give this to put this in our range of like 2,500 to like at most maybe 6,000. And that, that's just my preference. Shit. I hate me.